So, this upcoming Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals, Andre Johnson is getting inducted into the Texans Ring of Honor. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much they put the player's number and name up on the stadium. If you guys have seen the Packers, Lambeau Field, they have Bart Starr up there. Pretty sure Reggie White, Brett Favre. So it's like a special thing. Honoring a player and what they did for the franchise, what they did for the city pretty much. So last Saturday, I was streaming and we were joking around saying, Oh, you know, Shane Leckler needs an appreciation week. John Weeks needs, needs an appreciation week. And then it came up. Andre Johnson needs an appreciation week, and what better time to do so than this week when Andre Johnson is getting inducted into our Ring of Honor, and he's actually going to be the one to start it because we haven't had anyone else worthy of being there. I mean, realistically, right now, speaking, what, 15 years in the NFL, Texans have been around. Who really deserves it? Just Andre Johnson, J.J. Watt? Maybe Jonathan Joseph? So, it's pretty awesome that Andre is getting inducted into our Ring of Honor. And there's been a lot of negativity going around regarding the Texans this season. Or ever since Deshaun Watson got hurt. But, you know, for once... For this one week, let's just not focus on the current state of the team because, yes, it is bad, but we, we shouldn't be all negative and down on a week about Andre Johnson or a game that's going to be about Andre Johnson, man, because Andre deserves way better than for us to be negative in his special moment or special game where he's getting inducted to the Ring of Honor. So, I'm pretty sure you guys know who Andre Johnson is. Most of you guys should know who Andre Johnson is unless you started watching the Texans just a couple years ago. But, Andre Johnson, he was just special. And... To this day, I still believe if Andre Johnson had adequate quarterback play his whole career, he would have gone down as one of the best, if not the best, wide receivers of all time. And I still believe he is one of the best wide receivers of all time. But, unfortunately, he, doesn't, he didn't have the quarterback to help him out. He made plays on his own. Like You could double cover the guy, you could triple cover the guy. And he'd still somehow find a way to come down with the ball. This guy was a special kind of dominant. He had outstanding hands, great route running, great speed. But the thing about his speed that was kind of weird is the guy was 6'3", 225 pounds, 230. Like, that speed with that size, that, that was unheard of. It was absurd. And... Pretty much his whole career, Andre Johnson was pit up against Larry Fitzgerald. And his whole career, I would get into arguments with the Larry Fitzgerald people. Like, they'd be like, oh, Larry Fitzgerald is the greatest wide receiver of all time. Or, at, at this moment. And I'd be, no, Andre Johnson is the greatest wide receiver currently in the NFL. And even when, what's his name, Calvin Johnson came into the whole scene... I was still defending Andre Johnson, and I will always defend Andre Johnson to this day. And yes, unfortunately, things didn't go the way as I had hoped with Andre Johnson. His career didn't end it how I wanted it to. I wanted Andre Johnson to retire a Texan. But it got to him, man. Andre Johnson got frustrated with the team. The team had no quarterback. He was about to go... It is what his third rebuild of the franchise or the team since he's been there. So I can understand how it could frustrate a player and the player would want out. And to make things worse, uh, Bill O'Brien told him, you know, 
Hopkins was going to be the new number one receiver. And understandably so, because Hopkins was coming into his own and Andre Johnson was regressing. But I would have loved to have Andre Johnson on the team. Even though he went to the Colts and the Titans, I, I never lost any respect for Andre, man. And I, I never will. I always loved Andre and I always will love Andre. There's not much else I could say about that situation. But, you know, at least he came back to us, man. And even when he was over there, you know, the whole, the on, on Christmas time, he'd take a bunch of kids, Toys R Us, give them 80 well, 80 seconds to pick all the toys they wanted and he would pay for them. Even when he was over there in Indy, he'd still do it. Like the, the guy meant a lot to not only the organization, but the city of Houston. So, let's just stop making this about us for once. And make this about Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson deserves an appreciation week, man, after all he's been through after all he's done after all he was forced to be around so yeah I kind of want to take this time now to recall some of the greatest Andre Johnston moments and I'm gonna just name a few off the top of my head, you guys can go ahead and comment down below some other ones. But the the first one that comes to mind, man, we're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars, 2012. Matt Schaub, up 500 yards passing. Andre Johnson, like what, 13, 15 receptions somewhere around there, 250 yards. In overtime, though, he takes a screen pass to the house to win it. Yeah, pretty sure you guys remember that one. Or how about, um, what's it called? The the one against the Redskins. I want to say it was 4th and 10. Texans were down by 7, if my memory serves me correct. Matt Schaub just throws it up there to Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson's one-on-one, -on -one, catches it for a touchdown in the end zone. That was a pretty great one. Or how about when uh, Andre Johnson on Thanksgiving goes to Calvin Johnson's house and outduels him? Oh, I love that one. Or when Andre Johnson, this one was a while ago, he goes to Larry Fitzgerald's house and then Larry Fitzgerald gets two touchdowns and then Andre Johnson says, you know what? I'm going to do it too. And then he backpedals his way into the end zone to get the second one. Oh, that was so awesome. Or, um... Uh, this one I'll never forget, man. This one's truly special because I think it took Andre Johnson like nine years for him to get into the playoffs. And the Texans finally got into the playoffs. Andre Johnson was pretty much hurt all season. 2011, TJ Yates is a quarterback. TJ Yates throws a pass to Andre Johnson on, on the left corner of the end zone with the field. And Andre Johnson gets into the touchdown. And I remember, man, the commentators, Andre Johnson, welcome to the playoffs. Like, I'll, that's a moment I will never, ever, ever forget, man. Yeah, yeah for, for once, man, let's just forget about the team's current state and just remember all the great moments Andre Johnson brought to the team. Because at, at one point, this team was... A special kind of bad like really really bad and there was always one guy you could look to you know make you enjoy watching the Texans and that was Andre Johnson Andre Johnson made it fun to be a Texans fan all those years with David Carr the early Matt Schaub era even the the pre Wade Phillips era when we didn't have a defense we couldn't win it was just pretty much shootouts every game so, yeah, man, let's stop being negative for, for this one week. Let's, let's just do it for Andre Johnson, Andre Johnson Appreciation Week. And, you know, usually I have my videos planned out and I make the thumbnail before I make the video. 
while I recorded the video and trying to make the thumbnail for this particular video looking for an Andre Johnson picture man I mean I knew I missed Andre Johnson but just looking at at the pictures of number 80 God I really do miss Andre Johnson man just just go Google Andre Johnson and, and tell me that doesn't make you feel some type of way because it sure does to me feels like it was ages ago Andre Johnson was a Houston Texan but it was what just two and a half years ago like damn and I, one thing I, I still find awesome to this day is Ever since Andre Johnson left before the 2015 season, they still haven't gave out number 80 to anyone, anyone at all. No one's ever worn number 80 besides Andre Johnson. And I find that awesome. And, yeah, you guys might think, you know, oh, well, I mean, yeah, he's Andre Johnson. But, I mean, I think Arian Foster did some good with the Texans, too, but... There's Curtis Drummond, man, wearing number 23. So, that just kind of goes to show you what type of player Andre Johnson was and what Andre Johnson meant to the organization. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, make sure to comment, comment down below your favorite Andre Johnson moments. Pretty sure I missed some because there were so many. And, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Andre Johnson, for being awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.